Now on to our other big story at 10. There may be more wind farms in Wisconsin. Today, the state Supreme Court upheld the current wind turbine construction rules. The court decided that wind turbines do not hurt home prices, making a report on the impact unnecessary. But the decision does bring to light another ongoing debate on wind turbines here in Northeast Wisconsin. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live at 10 with more. Alex? John, neighbors in the town of Glenmore and Brown County continue to fight the Shirley Wind Farm, citing health concerns, and they call today's ruling a disappointment. Wisconsin's Supreme Court says the state's wind turbine construction rules are valid, even without a report. I do not have the benefit of understanding what impacts it may have on those homeowners who are forced to uh, live next to these turbines. The court concluded turbines don't hurt property values. The ruling isn't good news for many neighbors in the town of Glenmore. The group Brown County for Responsible Wind Energy says the rules mirror the rules used to cite Duke Energy's wind turbines here in Brown County. We've had 80 complaints. Dr. Jay Tibbetts on the Brown County Board of Health says the Shirley Wind Farm has even relocated three families. Nausea, chest pain, palpitations. Uh, a whole litany of uh, issues. In response, Duke Energy cited evidence saying wind turbines are not harmful to human health, saying their company has more than 1,200 wind turbines in operation across the country and has only received consistent health complaints about the eight turbines in Brown County, Wisconsin. Safe to say more on this issue has yet to come. Now, the Board of Health in Brown County says wind turbines do pose a health risk. Now it's up to the county health department to make a decision and ultimately take action. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.